Hello guys! Let me introduce you my new embroidery design. I created it to celebrate autumn and we'll be stitching it on my new stitch along that starts today. And I also created one more embroidery design earlier and uh, it's for bigger hoop and uh, I will be stitching both of them. Today I'm going to talk about uh, all about uh, embroidery materials and tools that you will need for this stitch along and uh, tomorrow we will start stitching the mushrooms. How do you guys like this embroidery design? I was like, I couldn't wait <laughs> to start stitching it, but uh, I know, I knew that I had to wait, I need to stitch it on and stitch along and stuff. I'm very excited to start stitching it. And before I start talking about materials, I would like to let you know that I'm gonna be running a giveaway on uh, YouTube. I'm gonna give you this uh, pattern and the bigger version of uh, mushrooms uh, pattern and uh, in addition I will also give you those two embroidery patterns that I stitched um, a few years ago and uh, you're gonna have uh, four embroidery patterns uh, um, to win so um, in order to win you need to be subscribed to my youtube channel you need to leave a comment on my YouTube channel under this video and you also need to submit a web form and the link is going to be under this video on YouTube channel. I will choose the winner of the giveaway on Monday, October 16. I will send you an email with all of those patterns and I will also make a post on the community tab on YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel hit the bell, leave a comment, and submit the web form. This pattern is already listed on my Etsy shop, so you can join this stitching along by purchasing this uh, pattern from Etsy, or you can join my stitching club on Patreon and you will get two embroidery patterns at a time. And once you become a member on my stitching club, you will be able to take a part in every stitch along I start and you will find a lot of friends on my stitching club on Patreon. We have a Discord chat where we show our progress and uh, you can ask for advice. I also make a monthly stitching chat, video calls on Discord, so it's a lot of fun. So let me show this Pattern. This is uh, the colors for this uh, embroidery design and the pattern consists from like it has materials and tools and links and uh, there is a color palette and linked to all the materials uh, there is a pattern for transferring to the fabric and it includes um, the stitches direction guide and everything that you need I also made a bigger pattern for 8 inch hoop and it also has a version with ferns it has instructions how to transfer the pattern to the fabric different ways and it's uh, it has a color map and this is how it looks and uh, there is no stitching instructions yet I'm gonna be improvising and uh, stitching it on this uh, stitch along but it has basic step-by-step uh, -step, um, tutorials and explanations for every stitch that I will use and there is also a bigger pattern and this is a bigger version that I will be stitching too right after I finish this one and uh, yeah it looks like i'm gonna be stitching entire october but it's fine it's, this is so cute i always wanted to stitch it and i didn't have a chance to stitch it before so i'm so happy that i finally reached my hands to this uh, pattern and it also has everything you need the color palette and pattern for transferring and uh, color map and it also has stitching instructions so for each mushroom I already have it here so I will do the same for this uh, new embroidery pattern so let's go and uh, see which materials uh, we will need so the first fabric I decided to stitch it on the natural linen fabric 
and you can see it's not uh, dyed it's a natural linen color and it has different uh, colors uh, like you see like it is and um, it wasn't comfortable to transfer the pattern um, in a regular way like I do um, I use a light method and I draw directly on the fabric uh, using my hidden erasable gel pen this is a pilot friction pen and uh, so I decided to go with a stick and stitch uh, uh, Solvi. This is a printable uh, stabilizer and I transfer the pattern to the stabilizer. This is the package. This is how it uh, looks. And the stabilizer is, uh, is sticky and it's on the paper. And this is how it looks. So you can print uh, using your printer and then just cut the area and stick it to your fabric and stitch on top of it that after you finish uh, the stabilizer will be washed away really easy there is one note that i would say that uh, i wouldn't recommend you to print using jet ink printer because the paint can leak on the fabric i know that one person uh, told me that she used it and it like dyed the fabric and she didn't want it she didn't expect it so uh, better use laser printer or maybe go to staplers and print it uh, there and also this fabric it has bigger holes this is why it wasn't comfortable for me to draw directly on the fabric and i also used one more layer of the cotton fabric as a stabilizer so i will be stitching on both of those fabrics this is uh, the way you can make your fabric uh, st stable and uh, it really sits in the any kind of hoop really well because it's two layers of fabric and i also what i did i stitched uh, the stabilizer uh, on the corners using just a running stitch and uh, a regular sewing uh, thread uh, just to fix it on the place because uh, later when you will be stitching you can it can move you know and uh, it's uh, there is a risk um, that uh, the image will be a little bit uh, uh, distorted you know so um, better just to sew it uh, just the edges you will remove those uh, stitches uh, when you will finish uh, anyway, so um, This is what I did for the stabilizer. It is sticky it it can go without any sewing around but uh, I recommend to do this uh, just in case So in the pattern you will have two sizes of the pattern for six inch hoop this is actually a little bit uh, bigger it's six and half inches as you can see and you have a version of the pattern for the same design for eight inches hoop and that bigger design it has two sizes uh, it will have two sizes for 8 inches hoop because it's uh, bigger, it has more details, so it will require a bigger hoop. And it will also have a size for 9 inches hoop. I will be stitching in 9 inches hoop because I just, I just want to make it big and it is gorgeous. So <laughs> the one more thing that you can do is you can whip uh, the inner hoop as you can see i whipped it using uh, just a cut uh, of my fabric uh, and it will help you to make your fabric tight and it will not move during your stitching so you'll you will not have to worry about if your fabric is tight enough or not it will help you to have it tight in the hoop so the list of the colors it's already in the pattern and uh, i'm gonna use that exact uh, colors so but you can use any colors that you have in your stash so just they just need to be in the same color family 
And if you have a DMC color map, you can find the right colors that you can use. You only need three colors that have to be in one color family, like uh, the darkest one, for example, I know you can use this one or this one or maybe this one and then you need a red color maybe this one also can be as the darkest color you can use those three colors the, the colors that usually in the same color family they go together so you can use this this and this color and it will be enough you can use uh, like this this and this color you can skip colors if you see that they are too close so you can use this one this one and for the darkest one it's too pinky so i would use probably this one or this one just choose the colors that you have put them together and see if they go together very nice and if they will create a nice uh, gradient because uh, um, the cap of the mushroom will have a color transition so it will look uh, like three-dimensional so i'd recommend to use three colors for that and uh, yeah it also the stem will have three colors so it, the stem will look three-dimensional we also add some outline so it will really <laughs> I just I can't <laughs> I want to start it just right now but <laughs> I need to wait till tomorrow okay so um, so this is it for uh, embroidery threads you can also um, try some variated um, threads for the leaves of course uh, and you can play with them it's it, it will look really nice so just feel free to use your colors that you already have, but if you feel that you miss some colors, you can buy them. Okay, so um, what you will need? You will need embroidery needles. I usually use DMC embroidery needles uh, number 3 to 9. And I use uh, the size of the needle depending on how many strands of floss I use. Those needles, they have big eye and sharp points. So you will also need some scissors. And if it's gonna be hard to go through two layers of fabric and plus stabilizer, uh, your fingers may hurt. So I recommend to get some tools like this. I forgot how to pronounce it how to <laughs> spell it so these fingers this finger is that I usually have problems and this is a silicone and it sits very nice and it even have the hole for your long nails if you have long nails so I really liked it I tried it I tested and this is a great solution uh, I will have a link in the in the video description below so if you want to get it and um, there are a few versions there is like this it's completely un like unnoticeable so if you don't like that you have anything anything on your finger this is also will work really nice and they come in uh, different sizes like depending on your finger size so you can choose the the ones that you like the most there is also the plastic one like this but it's too huge for me I'm not got used to it yet but uh, maybe for you it will work especially if you have problem with this finger there is a size for this finger so you push the knee if you push the needle from the top and um, so this might work for you so think about it <laughs> it's not necessary so you can use any kind of uh, fabric um, I like linen for this because I would like to I would like it to be consistent with with all the rest uh, embroidery patterns for the autumn 
I, I would like to display them together and I use a similar thread colors and the fabric is the same. You would might need some pin cushion for your needles. You might need some needle minder. It's a nice tool for embroidery. If you want to stitch uh, using the hoop stand, uh, I will also have the link for my hoop stand uh, in the video description below. I will be stitching using the hoop stand because I need to have my hoop in the same position for video recording, but it's not necessary for you. This embroidery design is really comfortable to keep in your hands. And the hoop is small and you can turn it around wherever you like when you are stitching, so it's a really comfortable way to stitch just in your hands. You might need to cut the uh, excess of the fabric around the hoop. Um, I know that I will be uh, framing this embroidery design in the hoop, so I don't need this uh, fabric, but uh, if you are planning to uh, frame it in some uh, traditional square frame, so you just don't need to cut it, just it depends on your needs. I will cut it. If you have any questions, just uh, comment here in the chat and uh, I will answer all your questions right now. You can use Kona cotton solids and it comes in a huge uh, set of the fabric like this and you might want to use uh, one of them. I really like this color. I think that mushrooms will pop out here on the on this uh, color of the fabric really and it will look really great. So feel free to use any kind of fabric you would like. So that's it guys. Participate in my giveaway and maybe watch some of my YouTube videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.